Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna dive right into it. I'm starting my ATV dump trailer. I'm gonna build it out of mostly scraps. I shouldn't even say mostly. Some scraps, some uh, steel that I purchased recently. Uh, we've got inch and a half square tubing that I'm gonna build the bed out of. And uh, me it's metric pipe because it came out of a metric, sorry not metric, a Dutch built greenhouse that I work at. So. Um, I got some of it for free and so I'm going to build the frame out of it with that uh, metric pipe, the bottom frame, and then I'm going to build the actual dump bed frame out of the metal that I had bought. So I'm going to dive right into it and figure out my measurements and everything as I go. Alright, so I'm going to be cutting uh, 45 degree angles in all this pipe for the frame uh, using my new Evolution miter saw multi-cut cuts lots of different things james from uh, evolution sent it on over to me as a part of their collaboration with the uh, social media channel specifically youtube i think a uh, really nice neat guy to work with so um yeah i'm going to be using this from here on out there will be a link in the description below to their website and a link in the description to my amazon affiliate store for uh this miter saw All right, so I just finished cutting out all the pieces. They're here on the table. Everything is cut at 45 degree angles for the fit up. It is four foot by two foot. Uh, the reason why I did that is because I can go to my steel supplier and buy any other uh, four by two feet of um, sheet of, of, of uh, steel. Uh, my only reservation of doing this is that I just don't feel like it's going to be big enough and I'm not sure I'm going to be very happy with it. But just for cost saving materials sake, like it was basically the biggest I could build with the scrap metal I had. And then with the non-scraps with the steel I recently bought, it was going to waste the least amount of that and i'm trying i'm trying to be really economical because right now um, money is not a thing that i have a lot of so just trying to be as economical as i can and build things with what i have i think i'm going to take a grinder and clean all this rust off of all this pipe So I gotta be honest, uh, I'm pretty excited about this fit up. Um, one of probably the best fit up jobs I've ever done. I'm really excited about how that turned up. Um, also, this uh, $10 Harbor Freight angle grinder cleaned all of that up and uh, really happy with it. I think I'm gonna leave, that, leave a flap disc on that angle grinder and just use that one specifically. I'm gonna do one of two things. It depends on how much scrap metal I have. I'm either gonna put a cross piece right here in the middle, or I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna divide it into thirds and put two down. Just depends on if I have enough extra pipe to do two of those straight across. Day two, let's go. The 
demise of my fabrication abilities has always been notching pipe. I'm gonna start doing some tack welds just to keep it held together. Uh, and then I'm gonna decide whether or not I'm gonna use the stick or the flux core. Kinda thinking I'd like to use some 6013. Um, I do have some bigger gaps to fill up on this cross piece because it just wasn't perfect. I'm still learning, so I might have to fill some gaps up. But uh, overall, I think it's uh, gonna turn out pretty good and I'm gonna get to welding. Well, after the one joint, uh, I think I'm gonna go to the flux core just cause, I mean, it's not, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty awful. All right, some of these turned out uh, fairly acceptable, I think. Um, really fairly decent, like that one. It's laying in there mostly pretty flat, except right up here on the top where uh, the uh, little uh, corner came to. Just a little too much metal for where I was working at. Um, really, the worst parts on all of them are out here on the corners. Not bad, not great, but not bad. I'm satisfied with them. That one's messy. But most of them turned out okay. I can't believe for this little teeny thing that it took me a whole hour and a half to weld it up. Well, maybe an hour, but crazy, crazy, crazy. I guess a ton of that time was switching from my 030 wire to my 035. Then the 035 spool went out, so I had to put in another 035. Also getting set up after deciding to not stick weld, which I kind of knew that this wasn't really the best project to be working stick weld on, at least uh, this in particular, this part. 
but I wanted to try, um, but uh, I just need to remember why I bought that thing. It's mostly just so I can do thicker metal where this is thinner and the, uh, the flux core welder is perfectly capable of welding it. I really need to just, just use that if it's capable. I really should have took, taken my stick welder down to the valley when I, uh, the Mesa Phoenix area, when I worked on my grandpa's tractor, I should have taken the stick welder down instead of the flux core, but uh, I don't know. You live and you learn. Thanks for watching.